Okay, we're gonna talk about the UV5R some more. We've got two examples here. Um, this one has just been uh, reset. So we're just gonna go through the menu. Uh, to get to the menu, you press the menu button and you'll see that each uh, setting has a number ID, numerical ID, zero to 40. So SQL is squelch. Setting it to zero will open the squelch. Uh, the most radios come with the squelch set really high. You can actually adjust what each of these values means um, in the chirp software, but that's for another video. So squelch is best left at one or two. Uh, number one is going to be your frequency step. So if you're in VFO mode, uh, for most applications, you're going to want to use 2.5, 5, or 12.5. Um, Middle school to front console. I have a student coming down the front steps to head to the cafeteria to throw something in the trash. Okay, there's some, All good. Some activity. Carly, point to the restroom. Carly, to the restroom. On uh, for us, channel 15 right there. Um, setting number two is RF output power, high and low. And you may have noticed that uh, the keypad here has a shortcut. So let's do menu. Yo, Step. So this actually lets you go through the three different menu settings that are associated with each button. See how it goes 22, 2, 33, 3, 34, 4. So some of them only have one, but these ones step actually lets you change a couple different things. So press exit. Um, the RF output power on these radios is generally not as advertised. Uh, on on UHF with a full battery, you're gonna get, at high power, you're gonna get anywhere from two and a half to five watts, depending on where you are in the, in the you know, 400 um, to 520 band. Um, on, uh, on VHF, oh wow. Um, it's going to give you, on high power, um, uh, anywhere from 2 to 5 watts on high. Low power on VHF is a little more variable than UHF. Some radios, it's the opposite. Some radios, it's closer to 1 watt. Other radios, it's right on half a watt. Um, I've seen some where it's at like 900 milliwatts, 9 tenths of a watt. Um, so it, the best thing to do is to fully charge up the battery and hook this thing up to a watt meter that you trust um, and do it that way with a dummy load. Excuse me. Save is the battery saver. It's usually best left at three. Vox says voice activated switch. Wide and narrow. Wide and narrow deviation. So you should be using narrow unless you're operating on one of a couple things. So let me put it this way. Wide is only for a couple things. One of them is GMRS. If you have a GMRS license on channels one through seven and 20, or excuse me, 15 to 22, um, or you can run narrow uh, for better operability with existing FRS radios. Uh, for a GMRS repeater, it's better to leave it in wide. Um, the other, uh, sorry, the other um, 
situation where, <clears throat> excuse me, running wide makes sense, or one of the other situations, excuse me, uh, is if you're <clears throat> if you're using it for uh, amateur radio use, for licensed amateur radio use. Here's an example. Go ahead. These guys are running narrowband. Um, Go ahead. Let's see how that sounds better? I have Tajay down here to speak with you about desire. Um, so yeah, uh, GMRS, amateur radio, uh, MURS channels four and five only, which would be one, five, four, five, seven, zero and one, five, four, six, zero, zero. And there's one more thing. And that is the VHF Marine band. Um, VHF Marine band is also in wide. So uh, VHF Marine should only be used for marine purposes, especially frequencies like this one. Uh, do not transmit on that frequency unless you are in an emergency. Um, otherwise, it needs to be on narrow. And in chirp, that's NFM versus FM. ABR is, um, I believe, the uh, lighting timer. TDR is true dual watch. So that's um, basically, are, do you want to listen to both of these frequencies at once, or do you want to listen to one? I always leave it off. Um, the beep is exactly what it sounds like. Annoying as hell. Um, this is transmit overtime timer or timeout timer. Um, and this can be set down to 15 seconds, up to 600 seconds or 10 minutes, um, or it can just be switched off. Uh, what this does is, and we'll just transmit for 15 seconds. Is it set on 15? We'll just transmit for 15 seconds to demonstrate this. Um, after the number of seconds you set it to the radio will automatically unkey the mic so this is when i mean this if it hasn't happened to you it will happen you sit on the mic see how it stopped transmitting um 60 seconds is a good spot to leave this at uh, you know other folks leave it on 90 seconds which is a minute and a half or 120 or turn it off um uh, rdcs is your received dcs code if you have that if you decide to do that our ctcss or ctcs is your received ctcss or pl tone um whoops and then tdcs is your transmitted dcs code tctcss is your transmitted ctcss code um so just for demonstration let's set it to 100 hertz and then 100 hertz so now we have transmit and receive CTSCSS. Um, if I was to go in here and say, hey, I'm going to now set a transmit DCS tone. It does not automatically change my receive uh, setting. Uh, it does, however, turn off transmit CTCSS because you're, the radio is not going to transmit CTCSS and DCS at the same time. Uh, for reasons I'll get into later, I do not recommend using DCS. Uh, I recommend using CTCSS. Uh, yeah. Uh, voice. This is the uh, voice Confirm. that tells you what you're doing. Menu. And it's available in English. Voice prompt. Exactly. Okay. So notice how it's receiving a signal, or it was, and it's not coming through the squelch because they're not transmitting 100 hertz. This is your ANI ID, automatic number identification, um, which is something that can only be changed in software. Uh, this is your DTMF 
uh, speaker tone is what ST stands for. So this is, uh, you know, when you're transmitting DTMF, you want it to come out of the speaker. And so if you have it set for a DT and ANI, it's going to, you're going to hear the side tone, speaker tone, side tone. You're going to hear um, the, the, the tone, touch tone, DTMF. Uh, and your uh, ANI if you have ANI set up. So there's a couple different options for this. Off, um, just uh, DTMF, uh, just ANI, or both, or off. Um, S code is your um, ANI code if you have that set in the software. This is a squelch reverse setting for repeater operation.